Hi friends, welcome back. In this module, we are going to discuss about backup and restore. When we really need backup and restore, we are going to see those scenarios. Backup strategies. We will also discuss about backup, restore, merge and remove using CB Backup MGR. Also check the version compatibility of backup and restore and also few recommendations about backup and restore. In case of disaster, when you really need to backup or restore. In case, if you lost a node, clients are unaffected because auto failover will be triggered and replicas will be promoted and then we can add a new node to the cluster without any impact. So in this scenario, we really no need to do the backup and restore. In case if we lost a whole rack, still clients are unaffected, replicas will be promoted on different rack and updated cluster map will be sent to clients. We will configure a new rack, add nodes to cluster. In case lost the whole data center, clients are nearly unaffected. However, this is very minimal time to reroute the traffic to the other DC. Lost your whole system. This is the place where we really need the backup and restore. Here in this scenario, clients are affected. CB backup MGR is an enterprise backup and restore utility. It replaces the CB backup and CB restore tools. It enables backup and restore of data indexes and bucket configurations at a dramatically increased speed over previous generation tools. All backups can be performed on a live running cluster. CB backup MGR by default performs incremental backups which contain only the database changes that occurred since the last backup. Some of the benefits of incremental backups are reduce the amount of time needed for each backup. Also reduce the amount of disk for storage. Also it will reduce the bandwidth usage. For the first time, CB Backup MGR tool generates a full backup on a new cluster. After that, every backup will be an incremental backup by default. These are the most common backup strategies when we are using CB Backup MGR. Periodic merge, incremental approach and full backup. It is always recommended to use a dedicated backup server to take the backups. Because if we have a dedicated backup server, it will reduce some load during the backup on the live production cluster. Periodic merge approach. This is the recommended backup strategy. It is intended to have the lowest cluster overhead and will require the least amount of time. So if we see here backup 1 is having 1 backup, backup 2 having 2 backups, so on and so forth. Backup 8 is having 8 backups in the repo. A merge happened on Sunday. You can see 1 to 7 merged and here we can see 2 backups in the backup repo. So basically each day we increase the amount of incremental backups to reclaim the space we merge the incremental backups. That is the periodic merge strategy. Full incremental approach. It is similar to the periodic merge strategy. Instead of relying on the merge feature to merge the backups together, we create a new backup repository periodically and backup the entire cluster again. This approach suitable for small to medium sized clusters due to the requirement to take full backups. We see here backup 1 contained 1 backup, backup 2 contains 2 backups, so on and so forth. On Sunday, it again created a new repository named repo 2. Full backup. It is useful for small clusters, but it puts the most strain on the cluster compared to other strategies. It simply takes full backup every day. CB Backup MGR tool. Backup is stored in and recovered from a backup repository. A backup repository is stored in a backup archive on the file system. These are few commands. Configure a backup. To configure a backup, we need to create a backup archive first followed by a backup repository. Backup archive is nothing but the directory to store all our backups. Repository is where your backups will be contained. So in a nutshell, the backup archive contains one or more backup repositories. This is a sample command cp backup mgr config hyphen a. This is the directory hyphen r repository name. It will create a repository named cluster inside slash data slash bkp directory. And this is one more example creating one more repository named single which will obviously take one bucket since we provided only one bucket for include buckets to list the contents of the backup archive cb backup mgr list is a command cb backup mgr backup backup repository contains all of the configuration information how the backup should be taken just specify the backup repository name and the information for the target cluster if you see this command we haven't provided whether it is the entire cluster backup or single bucket backup because the information will be taken from the repository suppose if you mention single here only one bucket backup will be triggered because for single repository we have included only travel sample bucket incremental backups we can test this by updating few documents and trigger the same command which will take an incremental backup that we will see what if the backup fails? If a backup fails, then it is considered a partial backup. Until resume or purge the partial backup, backup client will not be able to backup any new data. So we must resume it or purge before triggering the next call of the backup command. Restore. Get the backup name which is always a timestamp from the archive using the list command. If you see here, we have provided the backup names using start time and end time. What is force when we are using restore? 
Suppose if you already have few documents inside a bucket and the backup have some of those documents already inside the bucket you are trying to restore. Force updates override key value pairs being restored even if the key value pair on the cluster is newer than the one being restored. CB backup MGR merge. It is used to merge two or more backups together. This is a command. We can mention start and end tags to merge the list of backups. Backup MGR remove. It is used to remove backup repository. This is a command for that. Cloud backup. CB backup MGR can be used to archive directly into S3, Amazon S3 bucket. And this is a sample command. Backup a cluster in cloud. This is a similar command, just like backup. When we are taking backup directly into S3, a certain amount of disk space will be used to stage local metadata files. That is why we are providing OBJ hyphen staging directory here in backup as well as in restore. This is the CB backup MGR version compatibility up to Couchbase version 6.5. There are few recommendations for backup and restore. Organizations need to make sure their backup processes are well thought through and implemented to best meet their business SLAs, backup frequently, regular validations and storage capacity. Regardless of which backup strategy you implement, it is critical to restoring the backups on a regular basis at least once a quarter to validate the sanity of the restored database. Practicing recovery in lower environments also helps to handle the stressful situation during a disaster. This will give more confidence to handle it in production if and when that happens. Allocate sufficient storage on the backup restore node so that it can hold at least five times of the couchbase dataset size. Monitor the disk utilization and availability so that you can proactively plan more storage allocation before it becomes critical. So that is all about backup and restore. In the next video, we will see the demonstration of backup and restore scenarios. Thanks for your time. See you in the next lecture.